No, OCD, OCD, and then when I started, uh, when I got older, I started showing symptoms of BPD, and uh, uh, a little bit, a little bit of ADHD, and definitely PTSD, because I've been in the military. What I'm saying is, is I am one more diagnosis away from beating all of y'all at Scrabble. I am <laughs> one diagnosis away from a triple word score, let me tell you. It's what's up. And then I'll add on top of that, that I am also a member of the L-G-B-T-Q-I-A-R-S-T-L-N-E-R-E-S-P-E-C-T-I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. -E 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 Do you know what that means? Listen, I'm saying, listen, I'm all about queer community and shit, but can we shorten this shit a little bit, gay people? I'm out of breath. I'm old. <laughs> Nobody has that kind of time, you know? <laughs> We like we like as listen as a as a queer person, I gotta say we be doing the most. We we really do. I have a friend who says that <laughs> she wanted to be in that, that she wants to be in a polyamorous, non-gender conforming, asexual relationship. <laughs> That's the correct reaction. I'll break it down for you. Polyamorous, meaning lover of many people. Non-gender conforming, meaning male, female, anything in between or outside of that. And uh, asexual, meaning they ain't fucking. <laughs> Polyamorous, non-gender conforming, asexual relationship. I said, bitch, do you mean friends? <laughs> I can tell you right now, the reason you don't have any is because you talk like that. Nobody has that kind of time. <laughs> don't have that kind of time. I feel like uh, I can level with y'all for a bit. I mean, we're all polyamorous, not gender conforming. <laughs> I have something I need to get off my chest. Um, it's very deep and personal to me. Um, I just feel like I'm just gonna come out with it and say, fuck geese. I don't... Oh, do you know these assholes? They're loud, they're obnoxious, they're everywhere. They're like the Kardashians of the animal kingdom is what I'm trying to tell Geese are like if an Ed Hardy jacket sprouted feathers and came to life, you know? Like, <laughs> Geese are that meathead at the gym that gets hopped up on pre-workout and wants to fight everybody. Hey bro, you wanna go? You wanna go? Fuck <laughs> oh! so geese is one of times. <laughs> I got a chorus over here, that's what's up. <laughs> no, I am gay, which I uh, feel like some of y'all already figured that out. Because you see how tight this shirt is. <laughs> Listen, I'm already married, you don't have to try to get this dick, sir. It's not happening. It's, it's not gonna happen. My husband went to Central High, he will cut a bitch, don't understand? Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Trying to get me shot in this motherfucker, I'm not falling. <laughs> no, I am gay, and everybody who knows me knows that about me. I am, I am, uh... I'm out of the closet. Uh, everybody knows me knows that about me. What people are often surprised to find out is I am also black. <laughs> I know! Apparently the shit cancels out, you know, like... You can be both? I get tired of the stereotypes that come with that, you know? Like, people just automatically assume that a gay black guy can dance. <laughs> Bitch, my back hurts right now. You understand? I'm almost 40 years old. If I drop it like it's hot, I may not be able to pick the motherfucker back up. You understand what I'm saying? We're 50. People, I, and I'm, I'm glad that it's 2020 and we can talk about this shit now. I really am. Like, like, like people. You know, people just auto, like think that the gay agenda is about turning other people gay. That's absurd. Because why would I want the competition, you know? <laughs> I'm trying to save more dick for me. Stay in the closet. I'm, I'm good over here. <laughs> 
My, uh... <laughs> I am, I am, I am glad of it though. To, to my LGBT folks who may be in the house, my women, understand something. It is in 2020. Um, just understand again that we are at a time in America where Nazis are a thing again. I want you to, and I want you to hear me when I say this: protect yourselves by any means that's necessary. I'm, I'm serious about that. This is, a, this is, this is a true story. My husband and I were in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. And we were having breakfast in a hotel lobby, and a one of these Nazi motherfuckers saw us, came up to us. He had the shaved head, he had the party tattoo uh, on his on his leg with the seal because he was wearing shorts and all this kind of stuff. We're minding all the business. He sees us. He starts making a beeline right straight for us. My husband doesn't know how to fight, and I'm unarmed at the time, so the only thing I could do was defend us the best way I knew how. Like, you want to go? You want to go, bro? <laughs> And then I shit on his shoe. Who <laughs> stepped to that motherfucker? Thank y'all very much. My name is Jay Jackson. Audio's coming up. Let's get real.